The year 2023 has proven to be a pivotal year for the Indian bond markets, which have seen a robust turnaround. After reeling under selling pressure in the past two years due to rate hiking spree of global central banks and the RBI, Indian bonds are now approaching the year end on a strong foot. Evidently, with rate pauses kicking in 2023, the benchmark 10-year bond yield has cooled off to 7.17% levels after beginning the year near 7.327%. In May, it slipped below 7% for the first time since April 2020 as inflation began to show signs of weakening. It again peaked to 7.38% in October as RBI surprised the market with possible OMO sales. However, with last week's Fed pivot and its forecast of three rate cuts next year, global and domestic investors are increasing allocation to sovereign bonds, keeping yields lower. Analysts expect 2024 to be a strong year for Indian fixed income assets and suggest investors go long on debt securities. After the aggressive front-loaded rate hikes, both in India as well as globally, over the last 18 months, we have seen that the monetary policy tightening cycle has taken a pause. Real yields are positive across the curve and expectations of rate cuts are building up in the markets. Global markets are expecting a soft landing and bond markets are pricing in steep rate cuts both in US and uh, as well as Europe. In India, the scenario is slightly different. Growth is holding up pretty well as seen in the last week's GDP growth data. And we expect that Indian rate cutting cycle will be a shallow rate cutting cycle. We expect a shallow rate cuts or a shallow rate cutting cycle of 50 basis points in India to begin probably from Q3 in FI25. Typically, what we have seen is that yields at the longer end of the curve start to come down a quarter before the actual rate cut cycle starts. And hence, we think that investors can look at dynamic bond funds and long duration funds to take advantage of any fall in yields next year. Bal further sees the 10-year bond yields to continue their decline and slip below 7% over the next few months. Sharing this view, Pankaj Pathak of Quantum AMC believes long-term bonds will perform better in falling interest rate environment. He suggests that investors with two to three year holding period can consider dynamic bond funds given their flexibility to change portfolio positioning. On the other hand, those with short-term horizon and small risk appetite can invest in liquid funds that invest in government securities. Thus, fixed income securities are expected to give healthy returns in 2024, and investors should look towards debt market accordingly, experts suggest. Today, on December 21, stock-specific action, weekly FNO expiry, and global market queues will guide the Lal Street. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views, and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and LinkedIn. He's making plans for an early retirement. Business Standard.